I'm going to try something to open the show a bit. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to say something completely original. And if I've ever said it on the show before, I will cut to that scene immediately. Oh, wait, let's do this. Okay, so, uh... You know, I've got nothing. There, I think... I've never said that on the show, have I? Now time for that weekly list known as the possibility list. It's kind of like one... Okay, I've got nothing. Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Rob Rodriguez. Now, there are two types of people out there. There are the people who, you know, they ask first. There's people who ask permission first. They're like, hey, can I borrow this chair? And then there's the people who, yes, I'm aware David Cross has that bit. It's just for this scenario, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah. And then there's the people who are like, you know, I'm going to be the bad guy here. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this chair. Thank you. I don't know, maybe I'll use it as a bongo or something. With the, with the latter, the people who just do, they just go for it. Shia LaBeouf said it himself, just do it. Even though he's making royalties for what Nike has branded with themselves. Shia LaBeouf kind of stole the limelight from Nike. Just do it. Now... People who just go for it, they're motivational, but at the same time, without maybe intending this, of course, they're kind of rude and disrespectful. Maybe it's the whole, you know what the heck with it, I'm just gonna borrow this guy's puppet without asking. Okay, uh, I know I took the stool from the other side of the room, but Rod Robertson's on the bed, and I don't feel like doing that twice within the same shot, so... So how was your day? Just imagine you're you're out with your family or your group of friends. Across from the room, you always observe things. Like, there's always that one guy who announces what he's gonna do as soon as he gets up. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bathroom. Anyone who cares to join me, I don't really mind. It's just a little weird if you think about it. And then, you know, the people who usually ask first are, of course, just gonna say, like, you know, I'll be right back. Yeah, because people who ask first apparently don't believe in TMI. Yeah, I mean, they, they're firm believers. Religiously, they don't TMI. If they complete, if they TMI, it's an accident. Yeah, and then if you have artists like Weird Al Yankovic, out of respect, he will ask the artist first. Like, he's aware if people are okay with it. But then there's the occasional artist who is not okay with it. And trust me, his parodies are clean cut. I mean, they're, they're very funny parodies that are clean at the same time. I mean, people like Prince, Paul McCartney, Lady Gaga's manager, they've said no. But hey, he can pull some strings. His band, for crying out loud, they can make complete recreations of songs from scratch. Think about it for a second. Well, of course, we got a lot more show to fill. It is the season two finale of the show, after all. We got a lot more show to fill. I apologize if I'm coming across as weird in this broadcast. It's just that I'm very excited that we've passed this milestone. And it's episode 80, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty cool, too. Uh, last time I... Last time I ate pancakes before broadcast. I'm gonna need a minute. So I came to thinking the other day, I hear this a lot, that when people don't want to do things, they say, sure, I'll do it, when pigs fly. Now here's my question. Imagine if pigs one day were, were uh, genetically engineered to fly. So many people will have to do things that they didn't want to do in the first place. That dog is guaranteed permission to give the recipe away for Bush's baked beans. 
it's a, it's like a bucket list that you didn't write. Now you gotta go skydiving. You gotta get your bachelor's degree in culinary, or you gotta major in culinary. You you gotta see that movie that you didn't want to see at all, and now you have it on a red box somewhere, and you had to buy it for one day, and then you put it off, and now there's fees out the window. Let's actually think about what would actually happen if pigs flew. Okay, that sounds a little interesting. Like, you know how you let balloons go in the sky, and the one fear everybody has is, I hope it doesn't hit a plane. I hope it doesn't get caught in a plane's engine. Think about the detours, and how many passengers are going to be so disappointed that they have to go off... I mean, they have to, uh... What is it called? They have to deal with a layover in New Jersey or something because pigs decided to block the, the, the aerial view. I mean, come on. I mean, pigs would be the equivalent of a laser pointer. You can't shoot those out your window because it confuses planes. But just imagine if a pig was interfering with an airplane satellite Emergency landing in Tahoe. I mean, a friend of mine travels a lot. You know how disappointed he would be if his trip to Orlando was laid over in Alabama because these pigs decided to go all Santa's sleigh up in the sky? You know, on Porky, on Wilbur, on Babe, on Piglet. I mean, that's not, that's not all. I mean, if these pigs could, you know, genetically fly, if they were developed that way. What if they could do other things, like, you know, drive hot air balloons, or, you know, uh, drive people around via horse carriage. I mean, come to think of it, doesn't, don't pigs fly already? I mean, those chefs, you know, they can do wonders to the bacon, but, you know, it's already in the air, it's flying. And I'm sorry, it's not flying, it's falling with style. Toy Story. It's time for that weekly list known as the possibility list. It's kind of like when you follow Bob Ross with Cran. Alright, this week's list is titled, Four Legitimate Reasons to Not Show Up. Okay, so uh, I can actually get in a little trouble with this list, so I'm dodging a bullet, you know? Alright, at number four. There was a contest to see who can stay in their homes the longest. And number three. The ice cream truck turned over and all the ice cream was complimentary. Number two. Alien abduction? And number one. Four legitimate reasons to not show up. The meteorologist changed their report. All right, and that is the possibility list for you this week. Well, anyway, that is the show for you this week. You know to follow me on social media. Please stay tuned all, all September long as we commemorate two years with highlights and bonus material. Well, that should be fun. I will see you next time. I mean, it's safe to say the show is no longer number two. Oh, I can do one better, actually. Looks like the Terrible Twos are over. Oh, that's another one. I mean, they don't call it the Terrible Twos for nothing. See ya.